Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth, and I wanted to show you how to get a hold of Black Pearls over on Scorched Earth. It's actually probably one of the more difficult to get resources on the map, but when you know where you're looking and there are only two places you can find them, it makes it just a little bit easier. Now, it's a little bit easier, in my opinion, than getting them on the island, but uh, it's still probably one of the more difficult things to get on Scorched Earth. Now, if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, so anyways, the only two ways and methods that you can get the Black Pearls over on Scorched Earth is by killing Death Worms, or luckily having, if you have tamed a Phoenix, there is a rare drop. A Phoenix will poop out Black Pearls on a very rare occasion. Just so you know, it's not very common and you've gotta be paying attention but it does happen. So you're much better off just going into the desert and looking for the little trails of puffed up sand in order to locate a death worm. Now the death worms, just so you can see them, it does not matter what level you find a death worm, whether it's level one, level 150, level zero. See that little like puff right there? And that's what it looks like. So the puff is what you're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and run away so you can kind of see it again. They are massive, so once they're out of the ground, they're very easy to spot. However, when they're inside of the ground, they kind of like puff up just like that, almost like a reaper does. And uh, that's what it looks like when they're traveling through the desert over on Scorched Earth. Now, once you find one of them, they aren't too tanky. All of them, whether we're level 150 or level 1, will be between 20,000 and 200, I guess not 200, 20,000 and 27,000 health. And uh, yeah, it's 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 not too difficult. So a good wyvern or a good rex will not really have any major problem with taking out a death worm. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill it just so you can see how you get the resources. In order to get the actual black pearls, you have to access the inventory and then take the black pearls. I've seen anywhere between four and nine on one X servers. Now, you'll also get a single death worm worm or death worm horn out of it and then you can keep collecting them. Now, it's always a good idea because they are a pretty good uh, abundance of resources of other things as well when it comes to carrot and meat, prime meat and hide. You can see there's a good chunk right there. This is on 1X, by the way. You get some good resources. Now, just so you can see, you can also get them from the Mega Death Worm or also known as the Alpha Death Worm. It's just, in my opinion, not worth it because the Alpha Death Worm does a lot more damage. It has right around the same health pool as a normal death worm does, but they do exponentially more damage, which kind of sucks. So taking them on with a wyvern is a little bit more difficult. But uh, instead of actually having to access the resource inventory to get them, you have to uh, you get the resources on killing them. Now the negative side of that is they do not drop black pearls every single time, which really sucks in my personal opinion, because obviously when you're trying to get something like this, uh, it's not easy when you're not getting it every single time. So Alpha Death Worms, though, yes, they will give you a lot of experience and you can see the resources that I just got from it. You are not guaranteed to get Black Pearls. You can, however, get Leech Blood out of them. So if you're looking for that, that can be useful. But uh, it's completely random. So there doesn't seem to be a major spawn point for having Death Worms. However, if you just circle the outside of the map and look for like the puffing up sand, you will find Death Worms. Now, that is the only way to really find them right now. There's only a few usually that spawn on the outside of the map, so it can be difficult, but it is definitely doable to spend a few hours over in the desert and get enough to start making your tech requirements. So it is probably one of the more difficult maps to get tech on, but because of that, it's kind of fun because you kind of got to change how you do things. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.